Climate Communication is tightly linked to climate. As in a warm, supported and careful climate, communication is open and frank. Conflicts, if any, are manifest and integration is activated through a confrontation of differences and negotiation. On the other hand, in a cold and formal climate, communication turns out to be lacking contents and conflicts could arise easily and harshly. Within such a cold climate, relationships and exchanges are minimal and integration is missing. Obviously, if communication's quality levels do improve, then the climate improves as well. And the other way around. If climate gets better, then it's possible to start an open, sensitive and healthy communication. Climate within a team can be defined as the amount of perceptions of experiences and feelings of each team member. It is anchored to personal and individual feelings which are then addressed to the collective dimension of the team. So the team's climate has its base on individual perceptions and attitudes. Over time, through interactions and exchanges within the team, perceptions and experiences will likely consolidate around shared thematic bases, which therefore determine the temperature of the team, but also relationships with the other members, with their tasks or with their leaders. Climate is a system's quality. As we have already stated, climate is the amount of qualities or relations perceived by members, and so it's characterized both by being a complex system, this characteristic is called systemic emergency, and a set of qualities of human relations among members themselves. This characteristic is called psychologic emergency. Thus, when we talk about a team's climate, we're referring to the main characteristics and qualities of the group system. These are definitely influenced by factors such as time, space, individual assessment scale. Consequently, we can point out that climate is variable and multidimensional. Climate is deeply linked to the team's cultural models. It means it is linked to the culture developed during its activity as a working team in terms of shared attitudes and ideas consolidated. A team's culture allows to develop norms and values, ways of thinking and attitudes, but the members' acceptance of them is influenced by the team's overall climate itself. Rules, for instance, do determine the level of informality admitted and consequently the level of support and friendliness of the climate. Now, we can state that there are three main climate variables leading to a successful mood among team members. The first, Supporting climate. Support means trusting the chance to get the necessary resources useful to achieve a task, both by members who are committed to its realization and by the leader who guides through the finding of outside resources. Support is therefore the amount of perceptions of being helped in case of need together with a climate of mutual affiliation. A second feature of supporting climate is the perception of the care of the leader towards his members' needs and their contribution to solving problems. The second, warm climate. Warmth depicts the quality of relations and interpersonal distance among team members. It expresses a friendly atmosphere in which it's easy to maintain concentration on both tasks and relationships. There is of course a longing for achieving objectives, but with no damage to, in to internal relations as there is always time for joking and for chatting, with no damage to the job quality. Warmth allows the team to work happily and peacefully, being aware of empathy and support of the other members, and so it becomes easier to concentrate energy on the tasks to be done. In the end, warmth allows to deal with unpleasant issues with no fear of exploitation or oppression. The third, climate of openness and feedback. Openness and feedback are climate markers connected directly to communication. Openness is regarded as the chance to express ideas, doubts and feelings without fears of misunderstandings or censorship. The common feeling is that a wide and detailed communication, dialogue, exchange and debate are the bedrock of working together. Openness also enables the acceptance of any dissent or disagreement so much as making it an essential quality of team working as it avoids conformism. 
To sum it up, we can state that a good team climate is characterized by the right level of support, warmth, and the recognition of roles and members' capabilities, as well as of an open, frank, and clear communication, which therefore provides clear feedbacks on attitudes and results.